<laughs> Triple H. You slick dog. You knew what you were doing. Before Survivor Series for four war games of tweeting out William Ringle. William Ringle is WWE bound. <laughs> oh boy, this man knew what he's doing. And of course, Vince was the one to fire Regal. So, of course, he was going to want Regal back. His contract ends with AEW in December. So he did a. Either Regal knew that Vince was going to retire or just had a feeling because he didn't do that big of a contract with AEW. Kind of does make sense now why uh, MGF turned on him like that. So this is a Tyler Keller podcast extra for y'all. Just me. Recorded and everything. Um, boy, I want to talk about Regal. We're going to talk about uh, The Undertaker. It's not going to be a huge video because it's going to be quick. And just my reactions from it. The Undertaker. Now, unlike Ric Flair, The Undertaker actually loves it. Ric Flair does not like Sami Zayn in the bloodline. Don't know why. But The Undertaker said, man, this is the best work he's done. And I'm loving every second of it. And he basically said, I don't understand if you don't like it. That's how good it is to him. And I'm sorry, but I... Just hearing that, it's like, why did Rick say that? Just makes me mad. Um, so, this real William Ringle situation, and I'm going to love it because I don't know if he'll go back to NXT. I mean, he could, but I think they would actually use him on the main roster as a general manager. I think they'll do it like that. Um... But Willie Ringel is coming back to the WWE. I had a feeling it was. Uh, Meltzer was so confused with if it was three years or what. But it's actually supposedly this December. So it makes sense how they turned uh, MJF of him and everything. So Ringel has a great relationship with Triple H. And Triple H... That dog knew what he was doing. I'm just saying. He knew what he was doing. Um, so I'm not surprised to see Regal back. I'm going to be glad to see him back. Uh, other news. Sasha Banks. I don't know. It, we said it was a money issue. Um, that's what we reported. And then they said it wasn't that. So I have no idea what it is. But she didn't show up at the Survivor Series, right? So days after Survivor Series, days after, she is at the Boston Celtics game in TD Garden against, I think they were playing the Heat. Shows up there. I don't know, I don't know what's happening, but come on now, let's get Sasha back in WWE. Hopefully it's Royal Rumble. But, uh, yeah, Will and Ringle back, probably going to be back with WWE here soon. I don't know when, but it's December. I don't. Probably January, I'd say. Maybe. But I don't see him back with NXT. I think that's Shawn Michaels now. So I see him on main roster and everything like that. Um, But this is a uh, podcast extra for y'all. Um, just my opinion on it. I, I'm, I, I felt like he was going to come back, but I thought the contract said three years, but now it's supposed to be this December. Today is December 1st. So, man, I got a pre, I had over 2,000. I know I did this in a short. I had over 2,000 views this month. Last month, I should say. I went up. I'm at 394 subscribers. If you happen to come by this with Royal Wrinkle, please subscribe to here. I'm trying to get over to 400. Um, 
and just give me a try. Look, I'm not going to be the best. I'll, I'll be, I'll be up front with you. I won't be the best. Uh, will I make sense with most of the stuff I say? Yes. But quality wise, like, um, like picture wise, I mean, this is on my phone. I don't have no camera. I don't have no mic. Just saying, uh, eventually I do want to do all that. But if you happen to come by this Royal and Regal video, pl please, please hit that subscribe button for me and let's get closer to 400 and hit this like button. Royal Ringle back with WWE should be very good. Um, check out my TKW, TKW live show that just got uploaded about an hour ago. Uh, Survivor Series review, the podcast with Luke. All that's on the channel. So I'll see you guys. Have a great day. After this gets uploaded, I'm going to bed. Peace out, y'all.